right um day three of being on the oil it's going brilliant pain what pain it's criminal it is i uh felt a bit of pain last night in my shin that's it nothing else um didn't wake up during the night and i'm used to waking up during the night in agony trying my best you know and it really is but um no all good got up this morning about half nine and i realized i hadn't taken my pre gabbling and my short tick so i had to take them this morning while awake i'm not doing that again it's messed me up for the whole day i'm shattered i don't know if i'm coming or going so uh yeah it's tiring but um it's mad it's mad that this oil is not readily available you know even if people are scared of losing money put a little charge on it <laughs> make it dry no, i don't know it just annoys me so much that this oil is not on the nhs like when i came upstairs a bit ago Anya brought my oil up for me, my two oils, my CBD and my THC because she couldn't remember basically which day I put on. A, seriously, I'm having to close a baby doll dress. For Aria and her baby because her baby's got two outfits. Some of them are over there in her baby drawers. Some of them are up on the, her dad's thing. Crazy child shoes. But uh, no, I really am happy about the way things are going. You know, like, that must be a good sign if my oncologist doesn't want to see me for a while. So I keep on letting my arm slip down. Sorry, guys. Yeah, my, my oncologist doesn't want to see me for a while. So, yeah, that's brilliant. Oh. I'm just getting myself sat on the side of the bed so I can have a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. I'm saying that with me taking the oil. If anybody knows of any other stuff CBD wise that I can use, like one of my friends posted, um, sent me a message and said that this site had um, CBD related stuff. So I go, I've been on the site and I've had a look and there's CBD bath salts that I'm going to get and try. That'll be something that I let you all know when I've done it. And you know, tea bags, CBD tea bags and all stuff like that. Worth it, isn't it? It's worth a try. Give anything a go to save your life, don't you? Especially when you're a man. Um, my husband has told me to do the screen different. So if I'm looking away and still thinking that I'm posting, if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's his fault. Because I usually do it straight like this, look. Oh, I know I stand. There's the camera. And I can talk to it and know. Da, da, da. But my husband has said that people enjoy having their view landscape rather than the other one. So it's kind of a new thing for me to try. But anyway... I'm off to have my cup of tea and I'm, I really fancy tuna sandwich but I fancy crumpets as well. It's because I'm on steroids again. They make me eat, eat and more eat. Anyway, I shall see you soon. Bye bye. Hello. Just uh, finishing the vlog off for the day. Um, had a pretty good day. Pain wise, <clears throat> not so good like sleepy wise because I 
didn't take my tablets on the right time but I've set alarms now for everything so I know to wake up half six take pre gabbling take long tech go back to bed sleep for a couple of hours which is normally what I do and it normally works wake up about nine half nine go downstairs take the remainder of my tablets that I'm meant to take in the morning and take my cannabis oil and that's it for the day then I've not taken short tech till tonight I've had to take short tech tonight so my legs hurting a bit but I haven't had the right strength oil I've had the strength lower um, so my body's used to being a bit stronger um, sorry I just reading something yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I'm really frogging my throat tonight um, but yeah, I've uh, going to be ordering the higher strength because that's the one that I normally use. It's one that my body's used to, and so on. But yeah, today has been a really good day, pain wise. Um, I haven't taken short egg at all throughout the day till bedtime. And look, um, yeah, little little pointer for you. They are getting better. Look, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. And they're getting better since I started taking the oil. Um, yeah. This oil does wonders. It's not just for cancer patients. There's so much more. How much more? Dara, what else is there? It's anti-inflammatory. It's antidepressant. It awesome. works for MS, yeah, fibromyalgia, however you say it. I cannot say it ever. I'm no good at saying it. But um, it works for so, so much. And, um, yeah, I like to, I, I, you know, want people to know it's not just for cancer. It's for all sorts. If you've got a, a, a um, illness in the family, I would advise you to research cannabis oil with the illness and see if cannabis oil can help because I'll we'll probably say maybe eight nine times out of ten it's going to help and uh, yeah this is just wonderful but um today has just been a, a really good day the pain has not been there you know I've been able to do stuff to, today and there's something you don't know. I've not been able to cook for the girls that much. It's just been... So I've been so out of it with all the short tech and all the drugs I've been on. I've just basically had to guide Daryl through cooking. So they've just had, you know, like, bog-standard meals. Really, no offence, Daryl. Mm-hmm. Terrible you know, cook. Fully aware. What? Terrible cook. Fully aware. You know, pizza... Um, toasties, picnic food, all stuff like that. Daryl's had to do because I've not been in the right frame of mind to do it. Now, since I've not been taking short tech and paracetamol and all that through the day, it's um, it's nice that dinner time, bang, girls need dinner. Got up, went, did it, got it ready. They had their dinner, well done. And then come tea time, I was like, oh, do you know what? I fancy making them something different. Normally, in my mind, it's, I just want to make them something quick so I can go back and lie on the sofa. I'm shattered. You know, so it's it's been difficult. I'm not going to lie. I, I went from, you know, cooking really good meals, didn't I, Daryl? You know, sausage, casserole, um, tattoos per minute, um, tattoos and pop dish, stuff like that. You know, and it's just, it's upsetting that I couldn't do it. And now today, things are getting better. Might not seem much to other people, but I made a pasta bake. I put hot dogs in it because the girls love hot dogs. And I made a pasta bake with, what went with it? 
can't remember now. Chicken. Yes. Chicken, um, chicken shaped burgers. Uh, sorry, burger. You know what I mean. Um, I had them with them as well. And yeah, wolfed hers down. I mean, wolfed it down. Amy wolfed hers down, which is strange, really, for pasta bacon to Daryl. Mm. Mm. She's she's not one for pastry type stuff, but she absolutely wolfed this down. Then, um, yeah, gave him that for tea. That was just, you know, easy tea for me. And, uh, yeah, it went down a treat. Sorry, I've got an itchy arm. Um, yeah, so that went down a treat. They bloody loved that. So that that's starting to make me feel better as a person that I'm able to do for them, as a, a mother should be able to do. So I've not been able to, and I feel really awful that I've not been able to provide them with like, proper sustenance and... I'll stuff like that. So I will be now doing other meals, going back to doing sausage casseroles with mash. You know, oh, my favourite one is minced meat and veg. It's just minced meat in a gravy with whatever veg you want. You know, it's... Um, I have carrots and other stuff with it. But yeah, it's just just nice. Oh, Tatters and Poppy. Oh, I love Tatters and Poppy. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you all know that I've been having a really, really good day. That I was able to do stuff. I do have bread to be made, don't I, Daryl? Yeah. Daryl likes homemade bread. So much so that he doesn't wait for it to cool down before he has a chunk of it off with loads of butter on it. Daryl? Daryl? Yeah. Yeah. See? Must mean, must be good. You know. Must, must mean my cooking's good, yeah, Daryl? He's yep. nodding. For the people that are new to these blogs, um... This is it. This, this is my blogs. They're never very, very serious. Sometimes they might be. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes I annoy my husband in them. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes the dog annoys me in them. He's not tonight. He's seeping in his bed. Yeah, oh, the oats. Oats. Say hi to the camera. How was your interview? <laughs> My little boy, Odin. I'm Mummy's boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mummy's boy. There we go. He's been asleep now. Okay. Oh, he is my baby. I wouldn't be without him. He's a massive dickhead. So. But I wouldn't be without him. You'll see him in most of the videos. And you might see Esme pop in. Sometimes she likes to pretend she does stuff and all that. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's been a good day. I've had a happy day. I've been able to do stuff. I've been able to, um, you know, physically do stuff, get up and do stuff. Not just do food you know I've been able to help well have Anya do the food with me and teach her so that's really nice really really nice um there's nothing much else to say for today it's been quite a bog standard quiet day I've not been out of the house not done anything well apart from food but tomorrow might be a bread day and a cake day I'll make cakes for the girls and then get jealous because I can't eat them. <sighs> Not fair. Unless there's a low, low sugar intake in them. I might have to have a look, actually. Yeah, I might have to have a look. And then I can maybe have some chocolate cake with some yogurt. Oh, some, um, what's it called? Custard. So... 
for now I'm going to say night to everyone. Hope you've all had a very nice Sunday. My husband would say hello, he's just playing Holio. It's a new game that has got him and Anya addicted. Go on, have that ginger one, it's like Lola. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> he's playing Holio and he got to choose a ginger cat to be the big mouth thing. Anyway, I hope you've all had a good day. I will blog again tomorrow and I shall see you all soon. Night night.